bitches. You guys are listening to this shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. Fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitches? You guys are listening to Denson's Shit Show. Ah, get you down. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Hooch. Today, I have my darlings. I think my hat gave it away. Tiger Lily Gold. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey. Hi. How are you guys? Oh, my so gosh. Good. So good to see you. Um, and you look so adorable. You guys look freaking amazing. Oh, my gosh. That hat is like space cowgirl mm -hmm. era. Does, does somebody write a song about a space cowgirl yet? Space cowboy was Casey Musgraves. Space cowgirl. I think somebody needs to write a song space about cowgirl. space cowgirl. Mm -hmm. I'll be your muse. Rocket ship to the moon. Yeehaw. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> How have you guys been? The last time I see seen you guys, and I'm gonna call you out at the ACMs. I was just sitting on my couch watching you guys, and then I had the fun opportunity of working with you guys mm -hmm. recently. I think the videos should be dropped by the time this drops. Okay, okay, amazing. So we can uh, we can talk about it. Literally, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, that music video for mm -hmm. Tequila. Woo! What have you guys just been doing? Because it seems like y'all are just. Man. I mean, like you, girl, we're just running on fumes. I, I mean, this I, I would say we work hard, play hard, but we just work hard and then we sleep. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just work hard and we go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> no, there's, yeah. Honestly, I mean, this year we've been doing this for 10 years now. And I feel like this is finally the year that we really have felt that breakthrough momentum, baby. ACMs, we've got to make our Opry debut. Nice. So we've just been on the road. We have our first song at Country Radio. Shoot hey, tequila. Yeah, shoot tequila. <laughs> Do you, do you guys like tequila? Yes. Yeah. But and not a drink of choice. Not as much as people would. I mean, I love tequila. If I'm drinking, it's going to be a margarita. It's going to be a tequila <laughs> shot like that. I'm not going for a beer. Yeah. But it's funny because now at every single show, fans have caught on and like bring us tequila shots. And sometimes <laughs> I saw that TikTok that you guys put. I was cracking up. <laughs> and sometimes they're warm and like and and, and bad the quality. The worst tequila, and you're like. You're like, thank okay. you so much. I can't be a bus kill. And you're drinking and you're like, Whoa. Whoa. I will say drinking tequila shots. Do you guys ever like do the... Uh, I, no, I have drank water a few times. Like I was really sick on the road and I was like, I cannot mm. shoot tequila. I haven't. So I did do a water shot. Krista, ha she's true to her word. I am true. I'll, I'll take the tequila shot. Yep. I feel like me out of the sisters, I feel like... Me and you would be double trouble. <laughs> yeah, we need a supervisor. You guys would not survive on the road. A supervisor. Mm. I would have anxiety panic attacks if you were the duo and I was like your tour manager or something I would be like it is not that trying bad. to just wrangle you <laughs> and this arrangement works for a reason but yeah two of me wouldn't be good so out of the sisters who's the most calm one it's Ooh. interesting because I think Krista is actually calmer really she yes. I think you're the wild one yeah so well, she I would say more energetic she's more impulsive I will say right but like I get really worked up more stressed. easily and stressed and anxious about things. Um, but I will say we can flip flop because if something really bothers her, she's but gonna I'm be all quick fiery to about like, it. If someone makes me angry, I'm probably gonna jump on it where Kendra's a little more calm okay. for that. Let's think about the situation. <laughs> let's, let's think about our, our things first yeah, before. What like, are the consequences? You know, basically. I'm with you. I don't think about things. I just dive in. Right. And I'm like, okay, I'll figure it out later. But if something goes wrong in our career, I feel like I am calmer and that's so like, let's figure out what we can do. Well, we have a flat tire. Okay, we can call AAA. We can do this, this, and this. And if we have a flat tire, I'm freaking out. Like, I yeah. break down. I'm, gonna make I'm it. with you. I break down, <laughs> mate. I, I'm actually crying, kicking the damn tire yeah like cussing mm -hmm. at everything y'all like, know i have a sailor's mouth <laughs> <laughs> what did i do to deserve this <laughs> why god why yes. so it just seems like you guys are just you know this year has just been amazing for you guys and like as a fan before you know we've known each other i was a fan okay so the uh, i saw you guys at cma fest at the spotify house i was like no F yes, we saw you. Way. Yes, oh. and we locked eyes. We were there we're like, ah. watching Kylie Morgan and Lady A, and there was a few other amazing people that night. And I was like, Krista, I think Demi. 
stems is how it stems. <laughs> and I was like, do I, do I go up and her? say hi? Like, yeah. what do I do? Yeah. And then, yeah, obviously we came and said hello. And that was the start of our beautiful our friendship. Our beautiful friendship. Yeah. I mean, we, we just watched you and stalked you on TikTok. No, yeah, we, we were also so. fans of you as yeah. well. <laughs> I'm fans of you. I and started kicking in photos and I'm like, I think it's a subconscious, subconscious Dems thing. And you really. have a lily. Mm-hmm. So it was just meant to be. It's just meant to be. Yeah. But the way your name is spelled and you taught me that's like, I thought it was Tiger Lily, but the way you guys spell it is pretty freaking unique. Yes. So how do you spell it's it? on purpose. We don't spell it wrong on per. Well, no, we do spell it wrong on purpose. <laughs> yeah, you do spell it wrong <laughs> so on purpose. So it's Ty girl. Lily. Tiger Ty Lily. Girl. You still say Tiger Lily, but you put that girl in the middle and Ty- embrace that. Girl, Lily. Lily. Tiger Lily. And I, I mean, just let me lilies. I have a lily. You're a lily. Lily. And all that. Lily. That, that can be mm-hmm. lily so, for life. So, how was it? I watched you. How was it making your Aubrey debut? And I wish I could have been there and, like, just like been in the crowd, like, I know that. <laughs> oh, that has. What would you put your feeling? It was. Crying. It was so gratifying. There was a lot of emotions that day, I'll say, because uh, we had visited the Opry for the first time 10 years prior to that. And then uh, we were making, kids, yeah, like babies. I, like, I was gonna say, you guys were the same age here. Yeah, right. yeah. So, so probably like, well, I'm 25, so I was like probably 15 for the yeah. first time. Okay, we know. are not the same hey, age. No, no, no. I'm 27, <laughs> so <laughs> we are not the same age. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing music for 35 years, though. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really special. We got to hug in the the circle, and we'll get you there. We're playing it again soon. Yeah. So we'll get you there. I feel like you need to come backstage at the Opry. Yes. Dems. Have you been backstage at the Opry? Yes, I've been backstage at the Opry. I don't. (laughs) Here's the thing. Like, you have to tell me to be quiet. Okay. (laughs) You, like, I just can't help it. I'm out. You know, I'm excited. I'm in the environment. I mean, we, you guys hung out with me. You just got to tell, like, hey, Dems, just shh. Because most people don't know about the Opry. You don't get up and shake your butt or go, woo. Right. The no. Opry. And out of towners will go to the Opry thinking like, you know, they'll be like, you know, somebody playing that they love and they'll get up, had a few too many drinks and they're like, Woo! Like you can't do that at the Opry. It's funny because <laughs> it's a little more reserved. It's on our, very reserved. Like I was even cool. nervous about like playing shoot tequila at the Opry because I'm like, I feel like this is this song is so energetic. It's it's more of a Broadway honky tonk song. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, but I mean, it, it went over great at the Opry. But even that, I was like, are we too like risky? Yeah. <laughs> were the elder like were they but, just looking at you like? Yeah, and I'm just like, get your hands up! Yeah, one, oh, so you're the one instigating it at yeah. the oh, Opry. Oh, no. <laughs> Put your drinks up. <laughs> Shake your tail feather. Yeah. So you guys are the ones that are instigating this at the yeah. Opry. But yeah. what what's funny is like people. Would like, and when I go to the opera, you know, I, I'll have to, I giggle. I'm like, oop, you probably don't want to do that. It's just funny to see because you just don't do that at the yeah, opera. So it's more classy. Mm-hmm. It's more girl. Like, even yes. I feel like what we wear to the opera is different yes. than what we would normally wear. It's just oh, yeah. like a, legacy in country music so you're trying exactly. to be classic like what would dolly do you yes. know what i mean or what loretta, would loretta or, do or, yes. what would loretta, yeah, yeah patsy uh, like what? what would they wear how would they present themselves mm-hmm. i need to be in that mind yeah. to be fair drinking songs have been a part of country music forever, forever. Yeah. Yeah. so yeah. this is the first <laughs> beer drinking songs that is country music yeah. exactly so that, and love songs too mm-hmm. yep. love songs and beer drinking yep. it just seems like you guys have just been riding the damn road roller coaster I feel you I'm manifesting for you this year is your damn year but what was it like growing up as sisters trying to make this duo like do you guys fight <laughs> I mean yeah because I, I hated my big sister growing up I, I mean, love her to death now she's my best friend so we have another sister that a lot of people don't realize we have actually <laughs> kicking her to the curb yeah. I see <laughs> All right, Miss Carly. Um, so she, like, she never found an interest in, in music. So we always really got along. I would say myself and the youngest Carly, we would argue more because I try to be your mom or whatever because I'm the oldest sibling. My sister, um, my oldest yeah. sister tried doing that. And, and like, I would like, exactly, exactly. Everyone, no one mom. wants that. Um, but we always really got, Chris is kind of the peacemaker of the family, I'll say. Um, so we're so. So you're the middle child? I am yeah. the middle child. I thought you were the youngest. Which, yes. middle child. Yep. 
So I, I mean, I function like a younger sister to Kendra, but really in context, I am the middle child, which is why I'm kind of weird. They're the you most know? crazy. I guess we're supposed to be, but I feel like I was really calm. I feel like Carly actually was the rebel of our family um, growing up. But I feel like when I turned 21, because I was very paranoid always about getting in trouble, because um, I was like straight A student, three sports, um, did not want to mess anything up, like really into music. So I was very I'm like- the complete fucking opposite. <laughs> But then <laughs> I am the complete. I'm like, huh? <laughs> what is that like? Oh, yeah. I'm, but I feel like my parents now. I mean, since I turned 21 and it was legal to drink, I was always so worried about getting in trouble. Yeah. I was like, well, now it's legal. So now my parents worry about me more. Really? Yeah. You think it'd be the opposite? Yeah. But, you know, we're doing good. We're doing. We're, th- Honestly, we're thriving. We don't. We don't fight about music stuff. The only thing we really truly fight about is my decisions her decisions <laughs> in relationships and things like that you know just sister I, things we, we fight about sister things but just not want the best for your exactly. other sister and you want her happy like, i don't no want your, is good enough for you krista and she's like but i do don't I, want your opinion i let me soak in my sorrows let me cry yeah. over this jerk and for she like minutes. won't take relationship advice from me because I thankfully have been with Jared for 13 years. And And if people don't know, she's happily married. I Mm -hmm. met her husband. They are just the dream couple. (laughs) And I'm just like, one day, (laughs) Dan. Well, you guys yeah. will get it and you deserve it. But she hates taking advice from me because she's like, what do you know? You've never really been through a breakup. Blah, blah. And I'm like, you never had to true. look for love. It true. was just a block away from you. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're right. Literally. Yeah. What do I know? What do I know? So, yeah. I mean, you're in love, which is great, but not relatable. We're so happy for you. <laughs> not relatable. Yeah. So, I, you know, so I, I love that. And then obviously you play the guitar, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. All uh, right. So when did you pick that up? You I didn't s- find it interesting guitar no but i started piano in second grade so see yes okay so piano was my thing and then i tried guitar and really just was not my thing she picked that up at 10 started writing songs um and Mm -hmm. basically had the mindset of like I, it was Kendra and friends for a while. Mm-hmm. She, it wasn't even Kendra and family. <laughs> gonna back it was, it up. <laughs> Kendra was just a friend. Said, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's like, I, I got to beat this. I got to be more than just a friend. And so she's like, I'm joining the duo. I wiggled my way into that duo. Yeah. I really did. I but said, listen here. I can Honestly, only imagine what songs, what your songwriting was about at 10 years old. Oh yeah. It was about boys yeah. still. I Boy mean, crazy. It's always, I guess it's always been about boys. Um, <laughs> it still is about it boys. It still is about boys. I mean, I guess forever and ever. Sometimes um, I wonder what It was would my first song. To take a chance, but I know you're not risky, baby. Oh, oh yeah. But I'm just I'm, curious. Can you guys send me the audio file? Yes. I don't, <laughs> I, does the audio file even exist? I don't know exist? if it exists. I'll record one for you. One. Yeah, just yeah. record that it and just send it to my uh, neighborhood I'll, crush, Kyle. I'll stash it in my files. Mm-hmm. But it just seems like, um, what's one of my, so I watch Vivo a lot and you guys popped up and I absolutely fell in love. Like I said, I've been a fan. I absolutely adore you guys before we became friends. We were internet besties mm-hmm. before, you know, I saw their cute butts on Spotify, which was that your first CMA performance this past mm-hmm. like CMA Fest? Yeah. No, uh, no. So we did CMA Fest this year and last year. So, so second year. What was this that year. like? Amazing. Mm-hmm. So we actually played the same stage two years in a row. Um, and so last year when we played the Maui Gym Reverb stage, it was full, but kind of spotty. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, there could have been more people. And this year they had to cut off the limit of people coming wow. in. Because we packed it out, baby. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we sold yeah. out the free show. Come <laughs> on. Because you, you don't always see the physical growth growth of, of what you're doing. And so to actually have from last year to this year, like, oh, this is working. Yeah. The time we're putting in the work, it's all paying off. And I can physically see it in front of you my eyes. You guys can feel it, that yeah. it's paying off. Are yeah. you guys like, do you guys ever face, like now today's with country music, you know, we're so exposed to social media and we're always, I mean, I me, you know, I compare myself to other moms, you know, mm-hmm. that's just what I do, you know, like seeing their yeah. like day to live vlogs and stuff. That's just me as like a mom, my individual mm-hmm. self. But as a country artist duo, does it seem like it's just like harder these days to like, 
to get yourself out there or you find it easier with social media or is it just I, harder? I mean, it's both. It's, always, it's hard in some ways, but I feel like being a duo, it's a great time to be a duo, I yeah. will say. Um, especially a sister duo. There's not oh, a ton of who, other sister duos. Who doesn't love a sister Come duo? On. I feel like it's our time to shine. Family so we, bands, baby. You know, I'm there's always obstacles, but we, we try to look at our career and what we do as a positive thing. We really try not to compare ourselves to other people in the industry that's because that's, man. That's, it's hard not to. Obviously, mm-hmm. you see, and we're friends with a lot of these people. So we're like cheering them on, but we're like, when are we going to get there? You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but we just try to focus on our own lane, especially because we are a sister duo. And what we do is... It doesn't really pertain to a lot of other country music acts. No, so. your music is so different than any yeah. other duo. It's fun. I can, I, your song, Move On. Girl, giddy up. You need to use that next time you go to the bar, mm-hmm. pick someone up. Get you a man. Get you a man. <laughs> <laughs> My 42 hour hiatus. Does it look like I've been crying? No <laughs> more tears. Not to bring it up. I'm, I'm not going to call you anymore. I'm calling her. <laughs> Yeah, when you want to get over someone, I, I got you. She doesn't understand what no. I'm going through. But I will bring you a gift basket. What, yeah. a cheese? Of cheese and wine and I do love me some chocolate. cheese. The good yeah. cheese from Whole Foods. Yeah. Brie? Yeah. Brie, no, the Gouda. Some go- oh, Gouda. Gouda. Mm. That's what I have for good breakfast. Taste. I opened up that 14-pack dollar of cheese this morning for breakfast. Protein. Oh, my God. Did you know there's fake cheese out there? Do you guys shop at Whole Foods? I've literally Actually, been no. to a Whole Foods okay. once. Whole Foods is not a place that you do a full-on grocery shopping. No. And I've learned my lesson $400 later. Yeah. I was making eggs the other day and plant-based cheese. I had no idea that was a freaking thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, why do these eggs taste... <laughs> And, I'm, and me, I, I, maybe it's just my ditziness, because you guys know me outside. I'm a little ditz, okay? I don't read things before I buy it. I'm why like, would, oh, this looks why fancy. Why would you? Yeah. You know? It's all about advertisement, yeah. baby. If it looks good, the packaging. The packaging yeah. See, you get it. I get it. Like hair products. Yep. Oh, that, I spent cute. hours in a grocery store. Yeah. 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 Plant based cheese. No. Watch yourself. No. I uh, read the label. Plant based, don't do it. I mean, Good for anyone who wants to be plant based because I think it's great. I think the word's called vegan. But um, aim for me. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> it's, it would be hard. When you grow up in North Dakota and there's only like cows to eat, you <laughs> got to do it. Meat and potatoes. And this yeah. is what also I was going to get at. They're from North Dakota. <laughs> You don't just meet anybody. Oh, I'm from North Dakota. Okay, I like Deco- what? What's in? What the heck is in North Dakota? Um, we would love to tell you. I would love. <laughs> I feel <laughs> like <Nothing. laughs> tourism for North Dakota right here. Well, there's the Badlands, which is a very beautiful part. It's like Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and the. You probably have no idea what any of this is, but it's basically I Badlands failed. are like big hills. It looks like we're looks dinosaurs like once Jurassic were. Park. Yes. Oh, oh, uh, it's really could, pretty. I would love that. But yeah. I love dinosaurs. And the rest of North Dakota is just flat and you can see for miles and there's not a lot of trees. So and like Florida. Not but a lot fields. of... And but there's like, no palm trees. Is there tumbleweeds? Yes. And tractors and cows. Is there cactuses? No. No. Oh. It's too cold. <laughs> Damn it. And, and half the year it's covered in snow. I need yes. to look at a map. But you're going to get... It's uh, basically Canada. You know where Minnesota is? No. Just go you all the way up to Canada. Just... Canada. Canada is way up there. Okay. <laughs> Middle of the United States, Canada, Texas, all well, the way up Texas to Canada. Texas all the way up, and then Canada one down. Do you guys know I failed geography? Well, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no idea. Like, <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> But it's great. Hey, Honestly, Dems best. just puts in her address on maps. You don't need to know where you're at. I mean, <laughs> it's not for you to know. Dems. Why would we're you need to know that? We're going to come to North Dakota. Like, when I we do a look. big show there sometime. If you do a big show, I will come out to North Dakota, and you guys just give me the full VIP mm-hmm. treatment. They're not going to know what. Maybe I'll find them. love. Hey. In North Dakota. Uh, hey, good old North Dakota boys. I mean, I she found love. She did. I am not. So we're, you know, like 50%. 50%. That's not a bad odds right there. I have a 50-50 shot because she found love. And I did it. You did or you didn't? Well, Well, she did. Periodically. Like, I've tried some North Dakota boys. It just didn't work out. You know. No more. (laughs) No more. (laughs) So being in Nashville, you guys are just, you know, uh, uh, just living this roller coaster life right now. Do you guys have much, like, of a social life? Like, what are we doing besides off-road? She's like, girl, I'm at home sleeping. I mean, we're (laughs) gone Wednesday through Sunday usually. So Monday and Tuesday, it's usually we're writing and I'm trying to see my husband and my dog oh. and like do laundry. So I feel like we're so mm-hmm. 
lame, but we try to see friends go we're, out. You we're know? more low key though, versus going out. Uh, we'll usually have like cook dinner at someone's yeah. house, have like, a wine night. In. Last night we had friends come over. You guys and, come over in my house. What do you like wine? Yeah, yes. that's our vibe right now. We're chill, hang, like adult coochie boards. Yes. Sweatpants. Charcuterie boards. <laughs> I don't want to put makeup on for you. Like yeah. just real relaxed. I yeah. think I'm at that point in my life. Like um, it was my friend's a birthday this past weekend and I came in here we had some stuff and I looked at the my friends and I was like I just don't think I can hang anymore <laughs> like you don't even catch me down on Broadway any any weekend I'd rather just be at home I pay all this money for you know where I live I'm gonna mm. enjoy it I'd rather just have friends come over yeah. have a bottle of wine listen Put to some, some music house bring party. your guitar Chick flicks no that house party is the one I went to oh <laughs> that'll do it was in. like Imagine a 2000s house party. That's what it was that you yes. threw in high school. Amazing. Yeah. Kind of awesome, though. I, I mean, but, every once in a while, like, you crave a good yeah. going out. But yeah. I feel like with, with our job, we're doing that constantly. Yes. So we almost need the opposite effect of that when we come home for a We're supposed time. to bring the party to everybody. Right. Yeah. So we need to not bring the party when we come home. <laughs> Turn it off. Yes. So just go home. No more tequila, it. please. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys are just at home, like, Obviously, you guys are just relaxing and you're just enjoying your time with your husband and your dog. What is, you know, now that you guys accomplished like these goals, you know, making your debut at the Opry, playing the ACMs, like you guys just are going big with the song Tequila, which is a big instigation. Okay, it makes you want to drink tequila, okay? I was not a big tequila drinker <laughs> until this past year. I'm not going to lie to you. We actually have a tequila. So, in honor of you guys coming on Hooch. Oh dear. Just one. Just one. Oh, I'll do a shot. Oh, See, oh is- yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I was okay, like, what are we getting at right now? You have to convince me. We have like, to do, I'll do it. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we no, no. have to do it in honor of all that. So what is the next step for Tagger Girl? Like, uh, I mean, honestly, just releasing more music um, and touring. And I feel like everything you, that's happened this year. Can you tell us like, who you might be going on tour with? I, like, we don't even know. Like, no, our it's tour, a surprise. It changes, our, you'd be so surprised in the music industry how fast stuff happens. Like one week. I'm not surprised, girl. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> it's week by week. They like, call you the day we, of. Yeah. 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 Like next week we could have a huge tour with someone, and we, but we wouldn't have no idea before yeah. that. Uh, right now we're just on tour. I mean, we're opening up for doing so many radio stuff. Random people working our song at country radio, um, doing our own headlining dates and things like that. So it's really just continuing to to build and enjoy. Yeah. And are you guys going to be doing a headline show here and there? Um, mm. Yes, hopefully soon. We, we one of our big goals is to do a whole club tour. Yeah, our okay. whole, our own headlining club tour. That's a yes. huge next step. Will for you us. come on stage and take well, a tequila shot with hell us? Hell yeah, I will. <laughs> I'll promote, you just send me the link in the flyer. I'll promote the heck out of it. Just send it all to me. I got you. I will be your biggest fan. I always say this. I'm everybody's cheerleader in the music industry. And I've just been cheering you on for like the past year. When I first saw you guys, come on, Viva. Viva, and I saw your music video. And then I saw you guys, Tucker literally follows you. I was like, no fucking way. And then <laughs> that's when, I, you know, we became internet besties. And then this is how it all just came about. If you guys don't know, I, they called me up and I'm actually, it was an honor to hang out with them. How many hours? 12 hours? 10 Long to 12 shoot. hours. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting the music video for Tequila. So mm-hmm. by the time this episode drops, that music video should probably yeah. be out. Theoretically, maybe. yes. And it's uh, incredible. It's in the we, it's oh not, goodness. you know, as we're shooting this here, yeah. Today. It's not done yet, but, but I showed you a little bit of it, and it's incredible. So, so, fun. so much damn fun! <laughs> so much damn fun! We should be paid actresses, honestly. I, I, mean, I was like, this looks. Somebody, you'll see. Somebody <laughs> told me they were like, Dems, you're a little too good at acting. I think you're in the wrong fucking career. I was like, oh, well, you can always girl, pivot. A girl can dream. You know? I can do both. <laughs> Content creator is kind of. I you get I, the best of both worlds. I have the best job. I right? get to help mm. musicians like mm-hmm. spread the joy of music and it's everything. Amazing. And we appreciate people like you. Oh. Yes. Like, it, I mean, however we obviously can get our music heard is amazing. And so to have people who just truly want to support. support 
mm-hmm. people, especially up and coming artists. Hello. Just like, I mean, obviously Luke Bryan still needs promo, but like, does he? We need him no. more. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask, like, you know, you guys don't really know what the next steps are. You guys are just putting out new music. That's what we have to look forward to. You guys are coming out with a Christmas song. Yeah. So we can look for some Christmas vibes. Slay, slay. Mm-hmm. slay, slay I'm shim excited shim. for that. Uh, so what, can we talk about the song or no? Like, Which, which one? The Christmas song. Oh, well. Oh, what do you mean, which one? We got more in the bank? Well, I mean, we have. When I say we're releasing what music. What song? I mean, there's lots of songs You know, I coming. think when, when early 2024 comes around, you're going to hear a lot of new music. I'm not even going to hint at that. That new music, it's done, though. Well, it's, it's done, yes. but we're going to be pushing it out 2024. 2024. Yeah. Yes. And so Christmas is a little, you know, it's fun, flirty. You know, we wanted, I will say, we wanted to write a Christmas song that sounds like a Tiger Lily Gold song. Yes. Yes. And make it Christmas. So it's fun. It's energetic. We're going to be jamming out on stage to it. Maybe wear a Santa hat or two. I'm the elf costumes. Hear me out. Okay. Can you wear the elf and I'll wear like the Mrs. Claus? We'll go on Broadway. Get some (laughs) elf costumes. I can be the Santa. (gasps) Oh my gosh. promotion, ladies. The video. Yes. The the, the, the content. I'm already seeing it. It's going to be so cold. And do you Uh, like Buddy the Elf? See, but this is where my North Dakota comes in handy. We can get a plate of spaghetti with some syrup. We should go into bars and like ask people if they want to sing Christmas carols with us. Yeah. And take tequila shots. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, look, the vision is beyond us this right now. This is how now. it's done. Was it Rumpelman's? <laughs> <laughs> yep. No. Let's take to tequila. We're not 20 anymore, okay? <laughs> she is still almost 20. So where but. can we, like, just find you guys? Like, you guys are all, like, Apple, Amazon, yes. Spotify, you name it. All TikTok. the things. TikTok. I love that um, TikTok you guys did with the Barbie thing. Wasn't that, I mean, we th- it didn't go viral, but we thought it was literally I was, so funny. I, giggled. <laughs> I, I, was, I don't even care how many views this gets because this is so hilarious. Yeah. Um, but yes, Tiger Lily Gold, um, Tiger Girl. Really gold. As her hat ta- says, you can see I'm it. I'm saying Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily yeah. gold. Is it yeah, Tiger yeah, flower? Lily. Tiger Lily? It's yep. kind of confusing. We did it to ourselves. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook. Is it called Twitter? Can you say tour? Tour. Tour. Huh. Tour. Yeah, we have some How, weird... What? Tour. We tour. have some weird accent stuff, for tour? sure. Tour. I don't... Tour? Is it like I tomato, tomato? Tour. Say tour. Say t- tour. 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 I don't care tour if I'm right or I'm wrong. I'm not going to change my ways. <laughs> She's like, I don't care if I'm right or wrong. Nope. I'm not changing my I'm ways. I'm staying. <laughs> tour, tour sounds more bougie, honestly. Tour, tour sounds tour. like more proper. We're going on tour. 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 I'm on tour. on tour. That's what I say, tour. We're going <laughs> on tour. Uh, you guys will definitely catch me at one of your tour dates. Like, I will be your biggest cheerleader Yay. down in the front. Backstage. I, backstage. Yeah, I don't know if you want to let Dems backstage. We're well, going to Fargo, baby. <laughs> we'll let Lily backstage for sure, but uh, <laughs> Lily has been, uh, gosh, the, when that little girl gets older, she's going to have so many cool stories. Like, mm-hmm. of like, she doesn't know who she's freaking meeting, but she's just going to yeah. be like, oh, yeah, I was backstage with my mama, you know, all that. Yeah. And her, like, level of what is normal. Is not it normal. It's not going to be normal. Yeah, so like, cool, that though. is not normal. It's but not normal at all. I'm glad you're getting to experience <laughs> Sometimes she's here with me at work and everything. Just She is the best childhood listening. You know, musicians play all the time. I can't That's complain amazing. at all. I have to ask, do you guys have like a pre-show thing that you guys do? Do you guys, you know, do that weird thing? Mm-hmm. Brrr, like in the mirror? Uh, well, we do Calico Kitty, 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 Yeah. So we're just saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> is. Yeah, we actually yeah. are Irish. <laughs> <laughs> we're it, we're ish. That is the main. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Calico kitty, calico kitty, calico kitty, cali, coquiti, calico kitty, 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 calico kit
amazing. So that it really gets the enunciation, you know. And then we always do like a little fist bump right before we go on stage. We're not like huggers, so we'll just be like. Yeah. Do you guys have like a little secret handshake? Mm-hmm. Uh, no secret handshake. No, we should. She usually just looks at me and goes, "We got this." Mm-hmm. Fist bump. Yeah. And then with the band, we'll always like. Yell out a random word tonight. So the the random word that we yell out is always associated mm-hmm. with like whatever Town city we're in. we're in, or if we're having a rough go of it, it'll be like morale, <laughs> morale on three, one, two, three, morale. That has to be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Speaking of random words, you see that book right there? <gasps> yes, <laughs> I like so these ones. Go ahead and grab that. Which book one do for you me. want? Insult today or creative cursing? A uh, creative cursing. Okay. You got it? So you're going to flip one right and one left. I can see she's a little out of our element. She's like, God bless it. What <laughs> word is this going to be? They're like, they're like funny. They're okay. funny. Okay. okay, so one right, one left. Just kind of. Where do you get these books? That I got at Goodwill. <laughs> I like this one. Tit farm. <laughs> Just you grow them. grew up on a tit farm next to cows. Uh, tit farm. <laughs> um, our, our poor dad. Okay. And if it's bad, you can change it to another one. It's okay. I don't like you that You can't one. look. No, you can't oh, look. You yeah, can't look. Yeah, I can't just no, You who can't is it look. That's not cheating. the fun of it. <laughs> can't you just go away? I'm going to choose yours for you. She's you the reserved one. It. She's the reserved sister. T- okay, this one's fine. Just say it. Piss lips. <laughs> okay. What is that? I don't. Piss lips. Piss lips. That's my <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> We're getting Kendra out That's of her amazing. comfort zone. So you guys can take those words and take them on tour. So if you're feeling angry or something, mm-hmm. you can. Tit farm. You this- dang tit farm. You... This will really Piss like lips. when we're stressed out, we'll just bring this out and this will just offset whatever we're like, thinking about. And I feel like Tit Farm could be a band name. <laughs> a 90s band name. Yeah. If you guys were a duo, we'd be Tit Farm. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Our first single, uh, uh, I don't, don't, I don't even know. I'm not going to country that. radio this July, <laughs> next July. What, uh, it's August. You're listening to Tit Farm right here on country radio. Mm-hmm.